Victor, people want to know what size chain ring. It's a big, big chain ring. Very big chain ring. I think I have the biggest chain ring of the peloton. Maybe the biggest chain ring ever used in a classic. Right, Victor Campanart's bikes. Let's talk, talk about I've waited a couple of days, but I decided it's a good, good time to do it. So this is it. It's a one by 62 tooth chain ring. Could be 60 around that kind of thing. Definitely bigger than a 58. You can see it's a narrow wide as well. Uh, it does have a chain catcher as well, I guess, just in case for uh, on the cobbles. And we're going to talk about why this is maybe a good idea, but also potentially a massive risk. So he uses the classified gearing. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's like a hub system. So what you do is that when you click a button, it will be on like uh, where the DI2 junction box is. Um, but obviously on the new bikes, they don't have it. So I think it's just like something on the um, in the bar ends. And what the thing is, what it does is that it, it multiplies it by a 0.7 ratio. So basically you've got a 62, 42 and a half. I think it might be a little bit different, but anyway, around that. So what it means is basically you've got 42 tooth, Ish to go up hills, which is fine, and a 62 tooth on the flat. Now, personally, I think we'll talk about the gear ratio in a minute, but what I think about the classified hub is it's fine, but it's a classic. So if he gets a puncture and the team car's there, okay, fine, he'll just swap bikes. You know, if it's a rear wheel puncture, they almost always swap bikes on disc brake bikes. Even front wheel, they basically always stick uh, swap bikes. So then he's on Either his spare bike will have the same setup, or if it doesn't, it will be fine. But that's not an issue. The reason why it's so much st more stress in the classics is the fact that in the classics, you might get a puncture on the cobbles. People have got dropped. The cars can't, can't come past. So what they do is they have people like Sonia's at the end of the race, at the end of the sector, with wheels. Okay, that's fine, right? But with Campanut, if he doesn't have a power shift, uh, sorry, a power shift hub then he's stuck on a 62 tooth one by. So I don't know how many rear hubs they've got of this, but he needs one on each single cobble section. Otherwise, he's effectively like in real trouble if he punctures. Like basically, like not career ending, sorry, race ending, because he's not getting up some of these climbs uh, in the 62 tooth uh, with nice cadence. And that does make a difference at the elite level. So I think it is a massive, massive risk. Um, I think gear ratio wise, it's fine. 42 tooth. Um, he'll probably run, if he's running Shimano, it might be 1134, um, like Jerry's cassette. So then to be fair, like that's a pretty wide ratio, um, gear. And on these climbs, they go so quick up them. They don't grind much. And even if you are grinding a little bit on, for these climbs, it's kind of okay. So I think the gear ratio is fine. And I think the reason maybe he's running a 62 tooth is because he wants the 42. He doesn't want, if he ran like a 58, it might be too small a gear and we wouldn't want that because you wouldn't have it. The next question, I guess, is like efficiency. So if we think about the efficiency of the bike, uh, if we look at like this picture here, like he's going to be in a pretty wild gear um, for the, for it's like, he's going to be quite far down. So maybe not ideal for efficiency. Um, like you can see here, like oh, this is obviously on the Muir van Gerswagen, but like he is in big, big, um, which is not ideal because even another 42, there's a high chance you might be in it. It looks like he's running 11.30, not 11.34. So then like 42.30, yeah, you might be in it. So he's running some big tractor tires here. So they look like 30s and 33s, which is pretty wild. Um, you know, it depends where you think your gains are on the course, but I would say that is pretty crazy. The cobbles, I guess, it, it's like the rolling resistance is lower and maybe he thinks, okay, the rolling resistance on the roads will be annoying, but then on the on the cobbles, it will be it will outweigh it. Um, so yeah, I think in that sense, it's a good idea. Um, he's running some 60 mm wheels, which is pretty standard. He's running some narrow handlebars, which, which are tucked in. Like that's not even that narrow. They look pretty normal. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just that, and he's obviously running a wax chain, which everyone kind of blows their mind about. But like, honestly, that, like that's pretty lame. If you don't run a wax chain, I don't really get what they're all doing. Um, but yeah, it's more just like when you see it from this position, like it does look clean with the one, one by. I just think it's a massive risk. I think like, you know, if Ness has got wheels in every single place, it's just kind of like, that's wild. So I assume he does and then it's fine. Uh, but if he doesn't, um, it will not to be pretty if he's stuck. Uh, and then, and then I guess the next question would be like, is this the future? Well, maybe. I think it could be um, having the classified rear hub. I think one thing that people are not going to talk about uh, at all is the fact that in reality, um, you are going to lose some efficiency. Like in the rear wheel, you will lose efficiency. Is that offset by not having a front chain ring? and the drivetrain efficiency of having a bigger chain ring and all the rest of it, maybe. 
But then if you're going to cross train a lot, it's not, it's not unreal. So I don't know. I think in the classics, it makes sense a lot because you're either going up or down. Like, you know, you don't, there's not many climbs. Okay. Maybe the other Quen one's the only one where like, it would be a big ring at 53, which is fine. Like the top section, especially, but the rest of them is kind of like, you are just in your smallest gear. So like having it as a 42 is fine. And then when you get on the flat downhill back in the 62, no stress. Uh, and I think the other reason it's probably quite good is that it's quite easy to drop your chain on cobbles. Like it's very bumpy. Obviously they have chain catching all the rest of them. They always drop their chain. So by having the classified at rear hub, you're really removing that possibility. So I think in that sense, it kind of does make sense as well. Um, but yeah, that's my view on it. What do you think? Is it a step forward? Is it a step back? Um, obviously the shifting's not too well integrated either. So it's not, not unreal in some senses, but but anyway, camp on spike, always interesting. Um, and yeah, excited for Omnot at Nice back tomorrow. So cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.